How's it going? Ryan here. And today I'm going to review the one trade that I took on SPY that ended up making around 20%. But before we get into the trade, uh, we'll start on the daily time frame. As always, we'll look at some of the levels that I was charting um, and get into why I took the trade that I did. First of all, this top target, we have 444. That was a bit of a long shot, um, but a, a recent level that was played out. Next, uh, from the daily, we have this 434.5. Um, it was the area of multiple support touches, broke below it, uh, resistance broke back above it, support again um, on the daily time frame. So I thought that was relevant. And then to the downside, we have a recent swing low, which is what, uh, 431.2. Jump into the hourly time frame here. Uh, some of these other levels came from um, the one hour and the 15 minute chart. All right, so a few of those levels that we're looking at uh, we have 441, as so you can see, is a, a support for multiple touches on this hourly chart. Broke below it, came up, this kind of resistance, um, the local area of, of interest then we have 440 uh, pretty much exactly um, as you can see this was a, an area that we had found in resistance in a pre-market found a support resistance again um, the upside uh, and then we have 439 which was a recent strong support uh, that broke and once it broke we really sold off um, and we haven't reapproached that level so I expect that uh, to be a possible target as well. Then we have from the pre-market, we have 436. Um, it was an area of support in the pre-market. We have 437, uh, area of resistance. Then we broke above it, area of support in the pre-market as well. We have the pre-market high, uh, which is this yellow line at 438.7. Those are all the levels I was watching. Uh, we'll We'll jump into Excuse me, I guess we have the, the green line is the high of Friday's trading session. The red line is the low of Friday's trading session. So the range of, of last Friday. Um, but we'll jump into a five minute here. So off the open, uh, we opened kind of right at Friday's high of day. We pulled back a little bit and then really um, rallied up towards the pre-market high. Before we got there though, we had a bit of a sell-off and we came down into this area, um, the pre-market high that we had cleared. Originally, I was looking to take calls in this scenario if we showed strength up above uh, Friday's high of day and then pulled down and retested that. Uh, I did not get in trades here, however. Um, I was kind of waiting for it to come down and get a better fill once I had confirmation that we had uh, a lot of buyers stepping in at this point, but didn't quite get the fill that I was looking for, so I didn't enter that trade. We push back up and test this pre-market high again, um, and this is the trade that I took. So we, we push up, we test it, we have a bit of a sell-off, um, we push lower but then get pushed up at the end there, uh, but that is on increasing volume. So as we're coming up into this level, we have increasing volume, this red candle being the most uh, of the recent. I entered on this next candle as we pushed up uh, kind of in between both the pre-market high and this 439. So the reason why I wanted to take puts on this position was we had a big level from the uh, hourly time frame in terms of uh, a support, or excuse me, a once support that is now resistance that were below it. We also have the pre-market high coming up and testing these and failing to break above them. Uh, gave me the confidence to take this trade. So I entered right in here for 438 puts for tomorrow's expiration. Um, once we closed down here, I was pretty confident. Uh, I targeted 438 uh, in terms of where I was targeting to get out. Reason being, that was an area that we had found a <laughs> not not too much, but found some support, broke below, found some resistance. Um, it was an area that we had touched multiple times. And it was a nice whole number. Um, so I was targeting 438 uh which we got, I sold my single contract for a 20% gain. Um, we sold off from there, so <laughs> it would have been nice to have uh, more than one contract to be able to hold some runners through that move because that was really nice. 
Um, but I sold my one contract at my target. Um, my stop loss in this scenario was if we had cleared 439. So if we broke above 439, I would have exited that position. Uh, so a pretty tight stop uh, for that entry, clear to find target, uh, and it worked out. But you can see we sold off, came up, uh, retested this 437 area, sold off, found a little bit of support down at this 436, dipped one time below it, uh, and then cleared up and rallied, and found some resistance at 437 where we found it before, cleared above it, found support at that level, came all the way up to test pre-market highs again, broke above them, found some support at that 439 level, then rallied up to touch 430, or 440 pretty much on the dot. So the levels played out pretty well. Um, that would have been a nice trade to hold. I think when I was watching and it got down to 437.5, uh, it went from being about 20% to about 50%. So the premium really jumped uh, after we got past 438. Um, so holding through here, you know, I was nearly a 50% trade. I can only imagine once we got down here, it was close to 100. So the movement on that would have been really nice to hold and play out through that whole position. But I stuck to my rules. I followed my plan and came out with a single trade uh, up 20% in a matter of minutes. So I can't complain about that. But that's the trade that I took. Um, that's the reason I took it made it this far i appreciate you thanks for tuning in i trade live every single monday through friday so stop by if you feel so inclined all right hope you have a good day peace